Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Where am I off to today? Bienvenue dans les Pyrénées. You join me down in southwestern France near the village of Arles sur Tech, which is about 40 kilometers west of the city of Perpignan. Uh, I've actually been invited down by Chris Bratherton and his wife Vicky, who run the Pyrenees CC, which specializes in providing cycling holidays uh, in this part of France. Now one of the good things about this trip is that Chris provides a wide variety of cycling trips. He doesn't just cater for the hardcore cyclist, he also provides trips for people who are perhaps uh, looking to get into cycling or people who are returning to cycling after a bit of a break. Now this is fantastic for me at the moment because my fitness is pretty low and uh, I don't think I'm up for massive climbs or long distances but uh, Chris has planned some, some very interesting rides for us. We're, we're going to ride down to the beach today and then I think tomorrow we're going to ride uh, up into the hills and probably over into Spain as well so that's going to be exciting. He's also very kindly lent me his canyon which I'm looking very much forward to trying out so it should be an absolutely fantastic four days. <laughs> started today's ride and we're just riding along the uh, the Voie Verte uh, following the Tech River down to a place called Collier. Uh, the ride's going to be about 50 kilometers or so and the good thing is that it's mainly going to be downhill. When we get to Collier we actually hit the Mediterranean Sea and on a day like today that's just going to look absolutely fantastic. Another point of interest is Collier Castle uh, and it's still being used today as the, the, the training place for the French Marines. Collier is also famous for its anchovy production. Here we are in Amelie Le Ban, which is a thermal spa town in the Pyrenees. The water's come out of the ground about 37 degrees Celsius and 
down here, Leonard, on your right, we've got the uh, communal wash house where the film of water comes out and people still come here and wash their clothes and the laundry here every day. We're just now riding through the grounds of Chateau d'Aubry, which as you can imagine is pretty spectacular. We'll see it in a few minutes. Uh, and apparently the, uh, the chap that built it made his money making cigarette papers, would you believe? Unfortunately, that's as close to the chateau as we can go because it's still private property, but it is up for sale if you fancy a bit of a bargain. Only 7 million euros, and um, that's been reduced down from like 23 million euros. So, uh, yeah, if you've got that kicking around in your back pocket, snap up a chateau. Just about halfway through our ride now, we've got 25 kilometres on the computer and about another 25 until we get to Collier. And uh, although it's lovely and sunny at about uh, 12, 13 degrees, the wind's started to pick up a little bit now. And uh, yeah, it's making going just a little bit harder than it needs to be really. But having said that, we are on the Voie Verte, so it's nice, easy going. Well, it seemed as if I'd spoken a bit too soon. Chris had made reservations at a very nice restaurant in Collier that stopped serving at two o'clock. We were running a little bit behind schedule, so we had to up the pace to around 30, 32 kilometers an hour to get to the restaurant in time. After a fast but fun 20 kilometers on the Voie Verte, I don't mind admitting that that gave me quite a workout, but it was kind of what I needed to get my fitness back and running again. Fortunately, we made it in time for our meal. Suitably refreshed with some very nice banyul, a local wine, and a great big helping of Saucy's Catalan, we got on our bikes for the last part of the ride. Many years ago I lived in Toulouse and I recall coming to this area for a day out. I particularly remember walking along the beach at Collure and taking photographs as it's a very picturesque town with some excellent cafes serving some of the local specialities. Little did I ever expect to return some 25 years later to explore the area by bike. Having ridden through Collier, we've decided to push on and visit a lighthouse at Fort Vendre. Uh, it's a bit of a climb, so we're pushing on. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing view from up here. And yeah, it just couldn't be any nicer, really.
DMA's 